Alright, this question is the number of arithmetic triplets. So you are given an in array and a an div, which is integer, right? So uh, you want to find out like uh, there is a triplet which is uh, which has a same div for every single value. So I'm going to say x, y, z, and then this is div, right? So uh, y minus div is actually equal to x, right? And then z minus div is actually equal to y, right? Uh, y, sorry, y, and then um, we can actually know using the same logic. We can actually know like when we when we put everything into the map. Uh, sorry, set. When we put everything into the set, right? And then uh, we can just say, okay, if the current number minus the div is in a set, if you say the number is in a set, then we can find out what is the number minus div multiplied by 2 is in a set. If this is also true, then we will increment the counter. So what does this mean? Okay, this, this will represent what? This will represent y, right? y minus div is actually equal to x, right? And what, and what are these? This is z minus 2 times div, right? 2 times div, which is equal to x. So I skip the y, but I also verify the y already. Okay, so this is the idea, right? So uh, I will definitely have a return value for results and a return result. So I need to traverse my my in array. So hash set integer, right? Set equal to new hash set for int num in a num set dot add num, right? And then uh, once I have it, right, and then uh, basically I would have to check. So uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the set is already sorted or not, right? Uh, you can say if the set dot contains nums minus d is in a set, and also set dot contains nums minus two times d is in a set. If this is true, then we'll increment a counter, and or, and otherwise why we add a value into the set. So this is going to be a solution. All right. So let's talk about the time and space. And for the time, this is going to be all of n, n represent length of the numbers array, and then the size is going to be. I mean, the space is going to be um, all of n is. All of n is well. This is the length of the uh, array. You need to add every single element into the hash set. So this is a solution. So it's pretty easy. So uh, you just need to know the logic. And I will see you next time. Bye.